Here are 12 home office desk accessories that are actually worth buying. I hate watching videos like this where there's just like super expensive pens or desk pads and they just seem way overpriced. And I'm like, I would never actually buy that. Just me. So I found some amazing cheap desk accessories, but I also have some more expensive ones, but that are actually worth the money. Let's jump into number one, which is the CalDigit T3. Now this really is like the backbone for my desk setup because I use a laptop. I'm using the MacBook Pro M1 Max. Now, yes, this model does have some more USB-C plugins and HDMI out monitor and all that kind of stuff, but still it's not enough for me when I am doing all this YouTube content creation stuff. I have tons of stuff that I need to plug into this computer. And so actually having something like the T3 makes it so easy. I never run out of ports. I can really plug whatever I want into this setup. And the nice thing is it's still portable. I can just eject everything, pull out that one cable, and then I can take my laptop to go with me. And when I come back, I just plug one cable in and everything is connected. I won't go super in depth on this because we have a whole video on it that I'll leave a link to in the description. Now, number two, this one came in super clutch because I couldn't find a good place to put this CalDigit T3 until I found this on Amazon. And this is the CalDigit T3 holder. It's only $16 and it's super clean. It's super minimal. You just screw it into your desk and that thing is locked in. It's good to go. It's out of the way. And now it doesn't have to sit on top of your desk. It just fits nicely right underneath your desk. Coming in at number three, this is a coffee mug warmer. And this only costs $22 and it keeps my coffee hot because I don't know if you're like me, but I make my coffee in the morning. I come, I sit down, I get to work. And then an hour, two, hours go by and I barely even have started sipping my coffee and it's cold now. And so the nice thing is this thing is cheap at $22 and it actually works. It actually keeps your coffee hot. Now I actually did test this. So at 8.50 in the morning, this picture right here, you can see it's about 135 degrees. This was right when I made my coffee. And then I just left like half my coffee in there and I came back like two hours later and it was still at 120 degrees. So if you're a coffee drinker or a tea drinker and you work from home, this is definitely worth the buy. Coming in at number four, I have these mugs and my wife actually got these off Amazon. I'll leave them linked below, but these work really well with the coffee mug warmer because there's not too much space on the bottom. It's still lifted a little bit. So this isn't actually touching the hottest part of that. But I mean, with these cups and with the coffee warmer, it keeps it at 120 degrees and they're just cool looking and I really like them. It comes with a cool stand. So overall, I love these mugs and I just drink my coffee out of those every single day. Coming in at number five, we have a to-do list card setup, and these are really, really cool. I love using these because it really helps me keep my priorities for the day. I can write down the top things that I need to get done and there's still room to write down other tasks that I need to accomplish during the day. And this makes it really easy for me to just look at it and cross it off. And of course, it's just so satisfying when you get to cross off something off that to-do list. And I've been using a to-do list for about six months now. At first I was using a journal and then I transitioned over to these cards. I love using these cards much more because you just have one of them right here rather than an entire notebook on your desk. This is super small, super portable. And I even bought a little stand from Amazon where you can just place this right in there and it kind of keeps it propped up so you can see what needs to get done and you can keep your focus on the things that matter. Coming in at number six, I have my computer speakers, which are the Kanto YU2 speakers. They have a bunch of different colors, but I went with the gloss white and I absolutely love these speakers. Now, if you work from home and you listen to a lot of music or a podcast, or maybe you're even a video editor or podcast editor, you just have to listen to a lot of stuff all day long. If you have those big headphones, sometimes it can hurt your ears and it was giving me headaches. And so I never use headphones anymore since I got these speakers and they're $230, but they're on sale right now for $200. You can check the link to see if they're still on sale, but these things are incredible and change the game for me. No more headaches, no more ear pain. And these really just give a fantastic sound. So even if you don't go with these exact speakers, I still recommend finding a nice speaker that is going to give you a really nice sound. And these do the perfect job for me. I didn't need something super expensive, but these are super nice nice and for 200 bucks I feel like it was totally worth it. A little side note too, is I have these speaker stands that help boost the speakers up just a little bit. Those were like $30 on Amazon, linked below as well. Now, speaking of audio, I do wanna shout out today's sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Epidemicsound.com is our go-to when it comes to finding music for YouTube videos, and they have tons of playlists, tons of options when it comes to finding the right track to fit your video. Once you get signed up on epidemicsound.com, you can start using unlimited amounts of music in your videos and monetize your videos so you can still make money and still 
still have awesome music inside of those edits. Now, not only do they just have amazing music, but they have incredible high quality sound effects that you can use in your videos as well. And there are tons of sound effects that I use all the time in these Think Media videos that just definitely level up my videos. And if you wanna get a free 30 day trial of Epidemic Sound, just go to thinkmediasounds.com and you can get started today for free. Now coming in at number seven, we have a wireless phone charger that also charges my AirPods and my Apple Watch. Now this was something that I wanted to pay just a little bit more for it. it only cost $47, but I've tried the cheaper versions. And let me just explain that I did have one of the cheaper ones that were around $20 on Amazon. And it just didn't really work the way that I needed it to. For example, I couldn't charge my phone on the stand with a phone case on, and I didn't want to take my phone case on and off every single time I wanted it to charge. So on my new one, there is no issue. I can just throw my phone right on there with the case and it's going to give it a nice charge. And on the cheaper one, it actually didn't come with a watch charger. You had to plug in your own cable and it just did not look very good. But this new one has that watch charger built right in. So it's clean. You don't have to plug anything else into the charger. So for under $50, this definitely was a nice pickup for me. Now, speaking of the AirPods Pro, these are the headphones that I use the most when editing and when traveling. Now, these typically are about $250. Right now, they're on sale for $180, but I think these are totally worth it. Really, when it comes to headphones, if I'm traveling, I only bring these. And this is all that I use. And then when I'm home, I'm mainly using these speakers right here that I talked about earlier earlier, but very rarely I will use these if I'm recording something where I can't have any feedback and I need to have in-ears. This is what I use. The noise cancellation is amazing. The transparency mode is awesome. I love that I can just throw it on my charger right there and start wirelessly charging this. And also the battery just lasts a really long time. I like that I can throw them in the case and they just recharge for me automatically. Overall, I love the AirPods Pro and I'm so happy that I got these. Again, totally worth the money. At number nine, I have this power strip. And this one is very unique because it actually just screws onto the battery back of your desk. For a long time, I was trying to just like Velcro a power strip to the bottom of my desk, but it just kept falling off and it wasn't working. And when I found this, I was like, I need to get this. This thing has six different power outlets and two USB C's. So there is plenty of room to plug in all your accessories and charge all your items. Coming in at number 10, we have this desk shelf and there's two different colors that you can get in Kyle's video. I'll leave a link down below. You can see he has the lighter wood color and I have this darker wood color that I went with. And I think I picked it up for $48, but it's usually usually $58, which is a steal when you compare it to something like the Grove made shelves that are much more expensive. And so I love that I was able to find this. It's been working great. It's kind of helped clear up my desk, give me more space and really just add a lot of dimension to the desk setup. Coming in at number 11, we have the Govi light bars and these are right behind my monitor and it adds a nice splash of color to my setup. And it's honestly just a vibe. These lights are really legit. They're bright, they're colorful. And I love that I can change the color depending on the mood or the vibe that I want in the room. And if you're looking for an easy way to add some color behind your desk or behind your monitor, this is the way to go. I prefer this over those LED light strips because they're just less messy. The LED light strips are really, really long. And so sometimes those just don't work for having it on your desk setup, whereas these are super compact and small and they fit perfectly. At number 12, we have this computer monitor light bar that actually has a wireless remote. And this thing is incredible. I absolutely love it. You can find this on Amazon for about $70 and this adds a nice light to your desk without taking up a bunch of room. I knew that I wanted some sort of light on my desk to help see things better as I was writing things down or typing or just working in general, but having an actual lamp on my desk was gonna take up too much space and I didn't really wanna do that. So I started looking into the BenQ light bar, which is very similar to this, but it was over a hundred dollars and it didn't have that wireless remote. So when I found this with the wireless remote, I was like, yes, I need to get it. And it was cheaper. Now the remote looks really cool. So as it's sitting on your desk, it just looks like a cool piece of tech on your desk. And as you spin it left, it is going to dim your light. And then you spin it to the right clockwise it is going to brighten up your light. Now, if you press down and spin to the left, it's going to warm your light up. So it looks more like a lamp. And then if you press down and spin to the right, it's going to cool off your light. So it looks a bit more like daylight. The cool thing about a light like this is it doesn't take up any space on your desk because it sits on top of your monitor and it doesn't actually bleed any light onto your monitor. So there's no glare on your monitor. You just have this light bar and then you have your light coming down on your desk with no distractions. Now, if you guys want to check out Kyle's desk setup, he has an amazing desk setup with two monitors and he is an editor on the Think Media team. So check out that video and I'll see you guys in the next one.